Franz Schubert is somewhat um, the first composer that brought me really to, to tears when I was very little because the music, there is something very stark, very much naked. He went through so much darkness, so much sorrow, yet the music doesn't show that. This music shows someone who is almost naive in character, someone who has always such a positive outlook, someone with hope, someone always looking ahead and um, wishing for a better tomorrow. It's that kind of music. It's um, those happy moments that actually sometimes bring the tears because this is the the music, the soul um, unbearing of a man who was just so, so good. It was my idea not to show just the final three sonatas of Schubert, but rather to give a real overview, um, my perspective into his later compositional period. The last three sonatas, they should always include the sonata fantasy because they are really from the similar sound world. And the sonata fantasy in G major is um, the most poignant of them all. I was so thrilled to be able to present the pieces that I learned when I was about 13 and 14 years old. So these are pieces that have been for a lifetime. When I came up with the title of Meta, I wanted it very much to talk about my relationship with Schubert and also my relationship with music in general, how it evolves and develops and how even though so many things have changed in all of this time, that we still are looking at the same thing. Working with, with singers in general for me has always been, um, has been a real passion and playing then Schubert's solo works later, it certainly makes it also a bit more song-like. There is no other composer with such beautiful, endless melodies and in order to bring those out convincingly on the piano, one has to really be able to think of how a singer would phrase something like this. Bei Tag, bei Nacht, im Wachen, im Traum, ihr geht das alles gleich. Wenn sie nur wandern, wandern kann, dann ist sie When I look back at my relationship with Berlin Classics, um, and I think back to my very first album release, which was in August 2013, it's quite unbelievable how much the time has just flown by and all the things that have happened. It's been an honor to be able to realize so many different projects. I feel like I've experienced a very broad spectrum of repertoire and I was able to really realize my artistic vision. So for this 10th album, I wanted it to be something special. And it is, of course, not only in terms of the three CDs, so it's a bit bigger in quantity, but also with such substantial works, such huge music, um, music that is, of course, timeless and also takes so much to, to be able to perform um, in a convincing manner.